Praise the Lord, beloved ones. God bless you for watching. I just want to bless you with a word of God from Psalms 91, verse 1. And the Bible says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Such a soothing verse. Beloved, our world in our world today is, is full of chaos. It's full of turbulence. We see so many distractions. We see so many violence. We see so many sickness and diseases. And there's no solution to most of the things that we are facing in this world. There is no safe place in this world today. There is only one place that we can find it, the safety. There's only one place that we can run into and that we will be saved. And that is the secret place of the Most High God. The safest place in the world today is the secret place of our Most High God. You know, the sad thing is that most of the time we, we visit that place and so dwell there. But the Bible tells us clearly to find the safety, we must, we must make it our permanent address. But the Bible says, he who dwells in the secret place shall find protection. So let's make the secret place our permanent address, not our visiting address. Hallelujah. And we'll be able to find the divine protection that we need in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And this secret place is not a physical place. It's a place in the spirit that we come into by our relationship with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And His presence becomes our way of life. Where, wherever we go, wherever we are, His presence is there. And He gives us that divine protection that we know that He's always with us. That He will never leave us or forsake us. The secret place of the Most High God is the safest place in the world. Let's make it our permanent address and we will be safe. Things will get worse and worse in this world. But there is only one place. It's in the house. The presence of the Lord. Under His feet. He is our refuge. He is our fortress. He is our hiding place. He is our secret place. Jesus is our secret place. Let's find him. When we find him, in him, we move, live, and have our very being. Let's find Jesus. When we find Jesus and spend time with him, we'll find a secret place. And when we do, let's not leave it, for it is the safest place in the world today. God bless you for watching. I pray this message has blessed you and touched your heart. And if you don't know Jesus, Simply invite him into your heart. Welcome him. And believe in your heart that he is the son of God who came to die and take away all our sins. God bless you. And keep you and your family. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.